In this last module about human resource management within organizations, human resources within organizations, we'll talk about human resource management or HRM, managing human resources, and go into more detail about how organization and that function within organizations. Let's start with the nature of HRM first. First, we define human resources as labor, which is the physical and mental abilities that people use to produce goods and services. Human resource management then refers to all of the activities involved in determining an organization's human resource needs, as well as acquiring, training, compensating people for the work that they do setting those levels of compensation, et cetera, structuring them. Human resource management managers are concerned with maximizing the satisfaction that employees feel in their jobs and motiv motivating them to meet their organizational objectives productively. In some, some organizations, this function is called personnel or personnel management. It involves the hiring, the firing, the compensation, all of the human resource po policies. That's human resource management. When planning and developing strategies for reaching the overall organization's objective, a company must consider whether it will have the human resources that are needed to carry out its plans. After determining how many employees and what skills are needed to satisfy the overall plans, the human resource department, which may just be the owner of a small business, to hundreds of people in a large corporation and many different departments within human resources, this group ascertains how many employees the company currently has, how many they will need, how many will be retiring or otherwise leaving the organization during the planning period. With this information, the human resource manager can then forecast how many employees the company will need to hire and what qualifications, what qualifications they must have to do their jobs or determine if layoffs are required and where in order to meet the demand more efficiently. HRM or human resource management planning also requires forecasting the availability of the kinds of people in the workforce who will have the necessary qualifications to meet the organization's future needs. The human resources manager then develops a strategy for satisfying the organization's human resource needs. As the organizations strive to increase their efficiency they do this sometimes through outsourcing, automation, learning, and in order, because of that, you have to decide what the skills and backgrounds of individual workers might be, or you might use temporary workers while high hiring needs are being determined. Hiring needs can sometimes change dramatically, and temporary workers give organizations more flexibility. In the next lecture, we'll talk a little bit more about the steps in planning resource management.